Hello everyone, we're back with another flower tutorial. Um, for this tutorial, we're gonna be making some really beautiful, fun flowers. Now, I wanna say that it's fun and easy, but it is time consuming. The end result is gorgeous. Um, you can use these for headbands. You can do z use these for wristbands, waistbands. You can even decor, um, decorate one of your purses or a frame, whatever you want, you can use these for. They're really, really beautiful. So to create this, what I did is I folded my satin fabric and it is one, two, three, four, folded into four and um, four layers and I took the seam binding spool which is four and a half inch in diameter and I actually drew two and I did two of the four inch and I used this one here and I've already cut that one out and then I used the bottom of a tin can that I had because it was the next size up that I had and that's three and one quarter and on my little Sizzik die that I used for the flowers that we created yesterday, I cut out this size here. And that size is actually um, in diameter about two and three eighths. And someone asked me, what is it in, in, in diameter? Two and three eighths two inches, well, I would say two and one eighth inch and two inches. So I'm gonna say this in Spanish because this is for Maritza Lopez. Maritza, the flowers that we created yesterday, la flore que creamos ayer, el tamaño del troquel, um, el primer círculo es como dos pulgadas y tres octavo, el segundo es dos y un octavo, Y el tercero es dos pulgada. So two and three eighth, two and one eighth, and two inch. Um, and this is what I use for the flowers that we created um, yesterday using these types of petals, okay? All right, now let's get back to this. So once you have that, you're going to cut them all out, okay? and you'll come up with little circles. Now keep them in, keep your pins because um, the pins is gonna help you keep it all together because you're gonna have to cut little slits onto these, okay? So just make sure you keep your pins attached um, until you start to burn. So again, we're gonna be using um, scissors. We're gonna need a tea light candle. You will need, um, a needle and thread and some type of a bling embellishment, a button, an earring, whatever you have that you want to put as a center for these. So once you have these all cut out, okay, and we're going to do one here, you're going to do some slits. Now you can make these slits wider, thinner, however you want. I made mine's about, it's about a, about an inch I would say on the larger ones and then and just eye it however size you want. You don't want to go really deep in there. Um, so I'm just going to go in about, I would say about three quarters of an inch slit like that. And then just keep going all the way around. Okay. See that? So I'm going to cut some pies in here. Slit. Sit. And then just keep doing it. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll keep that there. And then the same thing you're going to do with the other ones that you have. And just keep doing that. Do it all. I try to keep it all cut up and in stacks so that I know once I start building up the flowers what, what is what. Okay. So just keep it all together in little stacks and little bundles. That way you know when you're putting your flowers together, what stack is what. Okay, so let's put this here. And then um, you'll need two of the bigger sizes. So two of the four and a half inch, two of the four inch, and two of the three and a quarter inch, 
and two of the two and three eighth inch circle. And you can play around with these. You can make, um, you can add more. If you want your flower to be more fluffier and we'll probably do that. We'll probably add a couple more layers. Um, but for those that I just showed you there, I have a total of six, um, but you can definitely add, you can make it eight, you can make it whatever. Actually, you have more than six, hold on. Um, you have eight, eight total for that one. So we're gonna probably go up and maybe bump it up a little. Now you will be cautious, be very cautious because you will get burnt. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my fingers were in massive pain, but the end results of these, um, and it is time consuming. It's just that the end result is so beautiful. Um, it looks like really beautiful uh, burnt edge flowers. It's so beautiful. Once you do it, you're going to see the difference. It's going to be beautiful. Now, this is more, um, remember I was talking about there's different variations in satin. Um, I got this satin from um, Hobby Lobby. So you want to make sure it's not really super heavy or thick. It's more of a lightweight satin because um, the lightweight is a lot easier to work with. Now I went in about an inch on that one because it's a lot deeper. See that? Really no rhyme or reason. Just keep going around in circles. And do that. See? And it's easier if you have them all done, lined up, ready to go, ready to, you know, get those petals done. Feel if you get them all done, even if you sit down one day and you're just making flowers, it's a rainy day and you just want to make flowers, you just, you know, pull out all your stuff and just create flowers. You know, you can never have enough of these. Um, I just never know what I'm going to be making. All right. So that's that circle. Those two are the same. That's the four and a half inch. And then we're going to do the three and a quarter inch. Just make sure you're not using your paper scissors. That's going to be important as well. Okay. So now I have my needle thread already here. It's here in the tape desk. I'm going to bring my tea light candle here. I'm going to grab, this is my four inch circle. And I actually need, because I have several of the four inch circles right here already done. As you can see, I have that. And then this is a three and a quarter inch. I have those done. And then I just need to work on my four and a half inch and my two and three. So I just take it with the satin up, satin's always got to be up, and just keep close to the flame. I like the shabby and grunginess of it, so, um, but if you don't, you can just trim out. If there's something about it you don't like, trim it out and do it again. Now this satin here, um, you don't really get that. Like the one yesterday, it was a little bit more thicker, so it took longer to work with because it was from a wedding dress, um, and it was really thick, so it took longer. So by the time it, it it would, you could see that the edges would burn a little bit more, so you had to be more cautious. Then you're gonna take your two petals. Um, and you're going to hold them like that and run it in through the flame. 
and get each one individually. This is where you get burnt. So you might want to let it cool off and then go in. Okay, it gets really hot, ladies. I am not going to kid you. I burnt myself a couple times. Okay, then you're going to take it just like that. Oh, I missed one. Why did I do that? Because I'm Mae Larson and I'm always screwing something up, huh? All right. There we go. Okay, now you're going to take it and you're going to run it over the flame and get it to um, curve in. See that? It gets hot. I'm not kidding you. Might get some gloves in here. Heat resistant gloves. I burned myself. I just can't tell you how hurtful it was. And just keep running it in to get a really nice crinkly effect. Okay. It is time consuming, I'm not going to lie. The end result is just gorgeous. I'll grab another one and then do it. Do it all over again. Once you get one or two done, it gets to be faster. Um, you get the hang of it. I'm not going to say your fingers get the hang of it because it doesn't. Ooh-wee mama, this is hot. Hot, hot, hot flame. All right. There we go. Let's go to one side. It's a little bit more cooler. And just work it in. You see a, an edge that needs to be curled in more. This is the time to do it. Get it now while you can. Okay, now again, let's go into the side that's not as, it's a little bit more cooled in. Kind of do a scooping effect there. Ooh, hot. Hot baby. Okay, so that's going to be randomly in between two petals, one petal in between two petals. That's one. I want to do a third one because we're going to make a fuller one this time around. Let's do a fuller one. Why not? We got it here, right? Always buy your satin when it's on sale also because this stuff is not cheap. I think this is like $8.99 a yard at Hobby Lobby. Um, I just happen to be in there. I've had this for a while. Actually, um, when, when I was doing some kits. So this was leftovers. But um, use your 40% coupon to your advantage. I know Joanne has some massive sales, massive coupons. Because um, I got the little coupon. I'm signed up for their mailing list. So just use those coupons, ladies. 
All right. Oh, if not, go through your closet, see what you have. That it's an old satin top. You know, back in the eighties, they wore satin tops. I guess I'm in there. I don't. I didn't have any. But you can also go to the. Uh, I don't know about Goodwill, getting clothes. You know, because by the time you pay three dollars for a top, you just could have gone in and gotten a yard for $8.99 minus 40% coupon or $8.99 and use your go to Joann's and use their coupons so I'm not sure that's but if you go to a yard sale and they have um, you know a top or something that's like 25 cents okay that 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 I justify it that's okay um, but not goodwill I wouldn't recommend that for I don't recommend that buying clothes from the Goodwill to to use and get the laces out of it because they're expensive. By the time you pay for that, it's like unless it's a big top full of lace, beautiful Venice lace, then okay. I justify it. But really, you're not gonna get a good deal on Satin and Goodwill. Okay. All right. So now we have that. And then two petals in between. One petal in between two petals. And let's do the little one because we need some little ones. Now this is a two and three eighth inch circle. We did the same thing. Little slits. And you will get burnt. This one's a lot smaller. So you don't have a lot to grip on. But you can probably see if you can use your tweezers. I tried using my tweezers. I just couldn't. Ooh. Told you. It gets hot. Make sure your satin is up too. That's important. Your satin has to be facing up. Um, the shiny side is up. Um, the doll side is down. Okay. And it's just, these are smaller, so we're just gonna. Okay. Do another one. You're going to need to felt circle. Um, now, if you're going to use it for like a wristband or anything like that, um, you'll need like some type of elastic and just kind of, I would sew it into your elastic and then maybe cover it up with a little. Fingers do not get accustomed to this burning sensation. I got long nails and I try to hold it with my nails, it still does not. Oof. Tell ya, the price we pay for crafting, right? Burn our fingers and all. Crazy women doing crazy crafts because we have to. We have to, have to, have to. Okay, so now my needle's ready. Okay, so what I suggest is just poke in right in the center and then randomly put that in. And you can, once you have it in, you can move it around. Make sure that one petal's in between two petals. That's three. And then we're going to go with the four inch. Yeah. And we're going to put that's four. And we're going to go with five. Again, randomly putting one petal in between two. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go in with a three and a quarter. 
and this is six, all in the center. And it's seven, and this is eight. And this one's nine. And we could have gone ten. We did nine. And we can keep adding. Let's put this one. This is a tiny one. It's about a two inch one. So I had it here. So this is ten. That'll be ten. And I just cut out some two inches too. My mat's about about shot, and I need to buy a new one. Cut through it. I've this mat. I have somehow or another made mistakes and tossed it in the trash several times when I was cleaning. Poor mat. Now it's gotten cut. It's got a huge gap right there. It's in major need of love, tender love and care. All right, now we're going to sew it in the bottom. Do your lock stitch. You want to do it a couple times so that you got a good, 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 good. All right, there we go. That is done. If you want, you can come in here. See, you can fluff that out in that pretty. That's gorgeous. So, you know, even with 10, see how much fuller that is? Gorgeous. You can come in here with some of these and, you know, put it in there if you want, like that. Just an idea. I don't want those there, but you can. Um, you can take some gauze and put little squares in there you know I just kind of fold it funky put some of that in there that's cute now that I like oh, let's do that one and I'm gonna go into the second the first and I just kind of fold it funky no rhyme or reason it's stick in there I just fold it kind of funky Twist it. Every now and then, let's put some in here. That's pretty. And this is just a cheap and expensive gauze. Um. really pretty. It gives you more shabbiness. Ladies, I'm boring Vanessa here. She's with me the night again and I forgot to let, I, it's, she's so quiet. I forgot to say, say hi to Vanessa, everyone. Hi, everyone. She's so quiet. I had to look up and I'm like, I thought I had her there. Okay, so see, isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. And if you want, you can, you know, I twist on these like this. I like twisting it. And put a little bit of there right in the center because I'm funky like that. You can put an gold earring, some pearls, whatever, and fluff it out. And then come in here with um, your little felt circle. And voila, cover up. And there we go.
Isn't that pretty? So that is just another cute, fun field. You will get burnt. And you can make them smaller. Just use smaller circles and make sure you size them up appropriately so that it kind of piles up or stacks up per perfectly. Um, but there you have it. Another set of flowers. The next set of flowers I have, I missed something that um, I have to build up to it. I'm thinking about doing some dryer sheet flowers. So um, I have to stack up on my dryer sheets. Um, and save them up. So anyway, till next time. Bye-bye, ladies. Say bye, Vanessa. Bye, ladies.